Yesterday, we took a look at my Halloween 8080, but recently I've been seeing loads of people speaking about different types of Lego bricks. So today, we're going to be taking a look at them all. That's right, not just only the typical Lego brick that you, me, we expect to see in something like a 8080 playset or this mock that I have a video on. Definitely go check it out. It's a really fun build. But there are a few different Lego bricks throughout Lego's history that they've released, either for younger children to play with, bigger bricks, or smaller bricks for adults to play with. And ever since I saw a short by Brick Master Alec, who definitely follow if you are a fan of Lego. He works at one of the discovery centers and has so many fun ideas. Ever since that short, so many people have been making videos about this and they've been getting a few things wrong. So not only am I going to talk to you about the different styles of building Lego and the different systems and how they all connect, but also debunking some of the other things that I've seen people saying on the internet. And if I've seen them, chances are you've seen them too. So I think we'll get straight into with the typical Lego brick. Now we all know what a typical 2x4 Lego brick looks like and I'm not going to give you a whole rundown on the history of the Lego brick. Lego itself has its own page on the website but I will give you a fun fact. Six 2x4 bricks and it might be one you've already heard can be combined in almost a billion different combinations. Just these six 2x4 bricks which I think is pretty cool and as you can see I can hold up the entire six just by touching only two bricks, which is something that's really cool about Lego, the clutch power, which really makes them completely different to any of the alternate brands. But the 2x4 brick in general was created not far off Lego's creation from Ole Kurt Christensen in 1932. I think it was 1934 that you can find that on the internet. But the brick that we're used to seeing nowadays is actually a much more recent pattern from 1958. And you would have seen in a recent brick link haul, I actually managed to grab one of the original Lego bricks, which if we take a look on the side, you can see it says Pat Penned or Patent Pending because this is technically from before Lego owned the pattern to the Lego brick we see on our shelves today. And even though it technically is different to the brick you can pick up on shelves, it's got the same base structure and it's only been improved, you can see, with these little teeth around the outside to not only have better clutch power, but also to use less plastics. I have 3D printed many of these bricks myself and as long as you're not doing it for any profit or commercial gain, you too can 3D print your own Lego bricks at home. Though you're not gonna have the same tolerances as Lego, of course, we couldn't get that precise in our homes, at least not yet. Now, before we step up into Duplo territory, there is actually a Lego brick that's closer to scale. And this is where we introduce Modulex. Modulex or Module X was invented for, well, there's a few different things out there on the internet. But as far as the world understands, it was invented for architectures to be a much more accurate building system. And you see so many different companies adopt this nano brick over the years, but it ultimately wasn't successful enough for Lego to keep continuing. And rather than the Lego brick, which goes on a five to six ratio, to break it down a bit easier, you might understand that five plates tall is two bricks wide and that's basically the system we are talking about whereas these modulex bricks if we were to stack two together they're the same width as one regular brick and that made it a lot easier for building certain towers but like i said lego have since dropped the modulex branding technically it does not go straight to a lego brick because there is a little gap between the bricks you could use these alongside your regular Lego bricks, but I'm going to say it doesn't fit in system because you'd have to do some long complex equation. And if we're accepting Modulex fits in with a regular system brick, then technically anything does. Like I said at the start of the video, Lego then supersized their Lego bricks to make it easier for kids to play with, less of a choking hazard, and also it's easier for little hands to pick up and this is probably the one that you will all know duplo it does fit with lego bricks that's an official lego brick and this is my 3d printed one both of them 
hold up and even on the underside you will see that the little loops here are recessed so much so that you can fit a lego brick underneath which makes these awesome for mock building now this isn't an official duplo brick otherwise it would have lego or duplo on the inside of the stud yep that is right i have also 3d printed this brick as well and rather than take some bricks out of children's hands i'd rather just 3d print it and if i do need this for any supports such as in my minecraft world i'll definitely be printing a few more but on top of the duplo brick let's bring back the lego brick for a size comparison we have the next step of the giant brick food chain and this is quattro now you might not know what this is unless you're a little younger than i am i never played with quattro it was around that 2005 mark and I've seen a lot of people saying that this was back in the 70s, 80s before Duplo. Duplo came before Quattro. This was an attempt to make bricks even bigger and it just didn't land too well. Now it wasn't a complete flop because we do have education which is a bit bigger than this but we'll get into that in due time because what you can see is on the underside it follows the same scale as duplo bricks and this isn't exclusive to duplo you will notice that some lego bricks if they are big enough will actually have a similar pattern on the underneath but what is really interesting is that not only does duplo connect with it you can once again take your lego brick and connect it to the underside it's much harder to do so because of these round bits do stick out a bit further but it's definitely possible if you have an outline of it or perhaps you can use duplo as a stepping stone as most people would and if you're building a giant mountain like say Brixie for example I think these quattro bricks would come in very handy they're pretty cheap to get on Bricklink and that is right all of these bricks are sold on Bricklink including the next one I don't think we'll have much space on the camera but if you remember Primo growing up you must have had a really fun childhood I do I used to love these bricks I had no idea that these were under the Lego banner Primo were these rounded bricks and I'm not sure if Lego acquired them later on to try and buy out a competitor if this was a completely original Lego idea but I used to have so many of these we've since got rid of them probably some car boot sales someone got lucky enough to snag these for a great price but once again this has been 3d printed and if you take anything away from this video it's just that if you want some giant Lego bricks all you really need is a 3d printer and I mentioned education which is technically the same scale as this now as I only have a small 3d printer I can't print much bigger than a 2x2 two two. I could probably squeeze a 3x3 three three out of it but that would be pushing my luck but education do have 2x4 bricks that are this scale so you can just imagine how big they are but they are not made of this hard plastic well Technically, this is PLA. Typical Lego bricks are made out of an ABS plastic, which is even harder than the one I've used to print this. But the bricks that are used for the education system are actually made out of a spongy TPU material. I've again seen people call this some sort of foam material, but I do believe it's more like the rubber that we see for custom head molds in certain Lego themes. And that is because ABS can be quite sharp and dangerous and especially when you are supersizing bricks even bigger than the bricks you see on screen the quattro and duplo bricks do have rounded off corners the primo bricks have completely rounded off the studs they look very spherical and there is little to no chance of someone hurting themselves on it when you are using the shape of a lego brick it's very sharp corners and spiky edges so to switch it up and go with a soft tpu rubber like material is a really good idea and i would like to see some more spongy lego bricks in the future this is a nice somewhat of a stress ball but still because of the smaller size it's not as spongy as the giant education brick would be but i still can't get over the fact that primo is owned by lego so here we have a whole lineage of lego bricks i believe primo was the late 90s it was slightly before my time which meant i had the honor of growing up with these bricks we have quattro which again is early 2000s around 2004 
2005. We then have Duplo, which I think goes all the way back to the late 60s, early 70s. I know it predates Star Wars, which helps me remember the timeline. And then we've got the Lego brick that goes back to the 30s. It got majorly updated in the 50s for the whole tube connecting system and then we saw an update a couple decades of later to the brick we know and love and then modulex i'll be honest i have no idea when modulex was i'm pretty sure it was around the late 1900s but that doesn't really narrow it down as that's true for most of these so if you do know any other facts about these bricks please do let me know down in the comments such as modulex is so small it doesn't even balance on any of the other bricks but i think it's great to see how many different bricks Lego have tried and how long before we are building our houses out of Lego because that is a place that I would love to pick up. If there are any other Lego bricks that I have missed out and the on on brick set, on on brick link and haven't made it through to the darkest corners of the internet, please do let me know because Lego are always trying new bricks such as the education bricks that perhaps one day I have to glue parts together from my printer just to show you on camera but that is all for today's video check out the others on screen now don't forget to let me know your favorite one in the comments mine has to be primo because i still can't get over the fact that this was lego but i'd love to hear your favorite in the comments and may the bricks be with you always